Being the only openly gay, foreign and non cantonese speaking player in my club um, might make me an outcast on many different levels. <laughs> I was standing up for a teammate of mine. The guy from the opponent team had a very patronizing uh, and condescending tone towards him that I didn't really like. And so I told him, uh, please don't talk to him that way. And he replied, that's the way that we talk to you and follow, an insult followed. And it was gay related in a derogatory way. It gave me a lot of perspective in a really good way because I had the ultimate realization that my teammates were there for me no matter what. And the idea of like this unconditional support, I think it is what team sports should be about and to a certain extent uh, what life should be about. My name is Alex. I came to Hong Kong from Italy nearly three years ago. I play rugby in a local club in my free time and I'm the only openly gay player in my club. Three, two, one! I have never hidden the fact that I am gay to my teammates, which came in a very natural way to me and never required a coming out moment. He said, uh, he said try to play smart and once you get the ball, you only have to pass it right away. Mm -hmm. You know, do a little fake pass. And okay. My experience is not about being set aside though, but rather about bonding, genuine brotherhood, um, involvement, and mutual support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some might say I play out of the closet because I'm exploiting some kind of privilege because of how I look and where I'm from. Um, the truth is that I cannot change who I am, where I'm from, and whom I love. It would mean a lot to me, especially for the sparkle of hope it may have on players who would not want to be closeted and on a community that may not necessarily be regarded as the most inclusive one in terms of LGBT rights yet.